Hello everyone, my name is Virgilio Urbano. Um, I uh, started this channel, The, the Healthy Italian, um, because I want to share um, a lot of my knowledge uh, that I've uh, acquired in the last uh, few months so that maybe you can change your life the way I've changed my life in uh, eating right, you know, losing weight. Uh, today is um, April 21st, 2013. And um, I started this on February 1st of 2013. So in 12 weeks, um, I have lost uh, about 34 and a half pounds. And um, if I could figure out how to use this editor, I will flash a picture of uh, when I came back from Italy because this is what started this. Me and my brother uh, were walking the Colosseum and we're in the most beautiful place in the world uh, in Rome. And, and um, we, He's bigger than I am, and he has struggled up the stairs, and I struggled with him. And I'm saying, hey, you know, this can't be, this can't be the way we enjoy our life. You know, I'm going to be 50 years old this year, and I wanted to, um, I don't, I don't want to ache and not be able to walk stairs or, or do anything. So I said, when we come back, we need to change our lifestyle. So when I came back, I came back, and I went 100% hardcore. Um, I went, I started off paleo, and if you know paleo, you know, pretty much vegetables and organic meats and organic vegetables, that's it. No sugar, no pasta, no carbs, no beans, no rice, no potatoes. Um, it's brutal. And, um, it, you know, because we're so, um, we're, we're so, we're like drug addicts of sugar. Everything converts into sugar, bread, pizza, spaghetti, everything sugar. So, um, and, you know, I started exercising, you know, lightly, um, and I, I really went 100% hardcore. The weight has come off very, very fast, um, and I was juicing, and I have some juicing videos. So basically what I want to do is I want to share all my recipes with you and all the little tricks and little things that can make eating healthy fun, you know, and um, I just want to let you know that it is a lot of work. It is no easy way. Um, to lose weight and be healthy. You have to go buy fresh fruits and vegetables and good meat and you gotta, you know, you gotta, you know, it's expensive so go, knowing where to go. You know, I go to Costco and I buy as much organic stuff that Costco sells. If you can go online and go to Costco's uh, feedback and, and, and request them to put more organic, you know, fruits and vegetables and uh, meats and fishes or everything that is organic um, if Costco carries it, it's, it's cheap. I'll tell you right now, at Costco, uh, coconut oil. Now, a big giant tub like this, 20 bucks. You go to the local vitamin place, you get one quarter of that for about $15. So that's what Costco is great. I love Costco. I get organic spinach, apples, eggs, you know, whatever I can get from them, I get from them. But you got to have to find your area because it's expensive, you know. And um, so... Um, Again, I'm, I'm, pu I'm putting this channel together so um, I can, you know, show you all these, you know, all these cool little things that I've done, uh, little toys that I bought that I will put up links. And uh, I'm not, again, I'm not, this is not no monetary gain for me. This is, I spent a lot of time trying to put this together, trying to figure out how to use software and upload and all this stuff. But, you know, if I can help some people and someone change their life and be healthy and maybe save their life, like that, you know, documentary, if you haven't seen it, um, Fat, Sick, and Almost Dead. Um, really good video. And that's kind of got me motivated, too. And I started off with juicing, but you can't, you can't only juice, you know. I mean, it's great for the initial, but, you, you know, you need to start bringing foods back. You need to bring good foods back. I try to eat as much raw as possible. But, you know, I'm not a vegan. I, you know, I'm not a vegetarian. Um, I do enjoy some chicken once in a while. I enjoy a piece of meat. But what I found is, is I'm, I'm doing this much lettuce and this much meat. So, because um, I don't feel good when I eat a lot of meat. But, you know, we're, we're carnivores, you know. And, you know, we, you know, we enjoy meat once in a while. You know, so 
Um, again, I'm going to share this stuff with you, but this is something that you, you need to want to do. You know, if you can get someone to help you and be your partner, that is so big because there's so much time involved. You're going to be cooking, you're going to be, you know, the dishwasher and dishes after dish. You know, you got to go out and buy this tool and this tool. And what tool do you buy? You know, and what juicer do you buy? And, you know, what, you know, there's, there's so many little things that I will share with you so that um, you can, you know, just take all my months and months. I mean, I have literally watched a thousand YouTube videos um, about recipes and some people do things right, some people suck at it, you know, giving you bad information. So I'm going to interpret everything and I'm going to try to give you what I think is the best way, you know, and it's working for me. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you, you know, and lose weight really fast. Well, you know, if you go and exercise every day and you're not eating any processed foods, you know, and that's what you need to do. You need to go in your refrigerator and throw all that shit away. Go into your cabinets, throw that shit away. If you can't read the ingredients, throw it away. All right. You need to stop feeding your body that crap that is empty food because it what happens is we're a country of you know everything's easy so let me grab this grab a box mix it together there's no life you need to have life and let me tell you what I've done you know I've done I've made now I don't know how many different batches of cultured vegetables that have life this is kimchi which I am so excited to try it is not ready yet but I do culture vegetables like you know cultures or fermented vegetables do research on that. I will be putting videos on how to make fermented vegetables, but it's food that has those good probiotics and has life and that good bacteria to help your digestive system. If your digestive system is working right, your colon's working right, you your body doesn't have to work so hard and now we can fight off disease and you know the countries that have a uh, high like Germany and sauerkraut, the real sauerkraut, I have 15 liters going right now that I, I can't wait. It's three weeks in. I got another two to three weeks before it's ready you know this food has life it has it, it, it lives you know the stuff you get in the can it's it's pasteurized it's dead everything is dead go to a supermarket it's dead even the vegetables some of the vegetables have so many pesticides it's dead you know I mean so where where do we win well if you can grow your own vegetables then do it I have a tower garden I will put up you know I, I if my other site uh, my other channel has them up there I'm gonna move some over here but you know I'm trying to grow my own indoor vegetables I buy organic go to farmers markets you know this is what you do and again this takes time and it's work you know it is a full time I have a full time job running a restaurant and I have a full time job trying to be healthy you have to watch everything but you know after after a while it gets easier you know it is so hard to go out to eat and and um, and be able to um, order something off the menu. I mean, everything everything is, is is shit. You know, they cook with bad oils and the cheapest you know cheapest stuff out there. So, you know, you got to pick your battles. You know, if you can if you can do it for a couple days, you know, it's better than no days. You know, and maybe you can work up to five days, or you can you know do what I've done and just go cold turkey and just say I am changing my life. I am going to be healthy. I want to enjoy my life. You know, when I'm 60, I want to be healthy. I don't want to. I don't want to be in a wheelchair. I mean, I shop at Walmart. I buy mason jars. I buy some stuff there. But you know what? There, there, there's, there's a reason why they have four and five X's at Walmart because the people eat shit. Look at their grocery carts. It is full of all processed foods. There's no life in it. It's just a box after a box and a can after a can. You know, do I get some stuff out of a can? Yeah, I get Wild Planet Albacore tuna, which is the best tuna I've ever had. And it's, it's pole caught and in, they're smaller tunas, so there's less mercury. It is fantastic. You know, they also have sardines. You know, but you know what ingredients? You know what it says? It says Wild Albacore tuna. That's what the tuna, that's what the label says. If you can't read the label, don't buy it. There are some things that are actually organic that are kind of sound funky, but they are they're okay. But usually, the you know the label will be 100% certified organic. And don't be fooled by organic sugar. Sugar is sugar. If it's organic, it doesn't matter. It's still sugar and it's still refined, and it will make you fat. You know, I use agave nectar and honey, but in moderation. It's very small. You know, so. Um, you know, I make my own yogurt. I'll put a video on that. I make an amazing non-dairy coconut uh, almond yogurt. 
and it's 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 a it's amazing and it's alive it has cultures and you just won't believe how your stomach feels no more like oh i feel disgusting you know everything everything works when that works you have more energy you want to do things that you know before i i was so lazy and so tired now i'm up i'm i'm sleeping great and i'm sleeping less you know, I, I get up, I don't feel like crap. You know, I do, I do have, uh, you know, I, and my weakness is, is red wine. I'm Italian. And um, I enjoy a glass of red wine at the end of the night. Only at the end of the night is my tree. I sit down, watch a little TV, I have a glass of wine. And uh, if I have not sweet, I'll have some 85% uh, uh, organic cocoa chocolate. Or, co you know, the, the, the real bean. You know, it has great antioxidants, and you don't need a lot of it. You know, it's so bitter, you take a couple bites, and, it, and, it, and that's what gets me through my sugar cravings. I have that, and um, no problems losing weight. I probably would have lost a little more if I didn't have a glass or two of wine, you know, but we have to live, you know. So, um, I, you know, once again, you know, you, you have to be committed. Try to find someone to help you with this so that one person can support the other. That's so, so important. And... Then you know why you know subscribe to my channel and uh, watch these videos that I do that are you know you know you'll save so much time and effort it's unbelievable and um, and I'll share this with you I I have a restaurant so I bring all my stuff into work and I test everything with people you know just like if I was going to add it to the menu so I think I've done a really really good job and all I ask is is that you share it with somebody and try to make them healthier. You know, we can't be healthy every day. Let's try to be healthy five days a week. I would rather that it's every day, but let's try it. And, you know, juicing. And, and just real quick, you know, how I started off. I started off juicing, you know, in the morning. And then, and, and, and then I, uh, um, I worked up to where, I, I mean, I have to have eggs and turkey bacon because I was so hungry because of all that sugar de detox. But then I went from, you know, juice once a day to juice twice a day. So then I did lunch and dinner. I mean, I'm sorry, breakfast and lunch was my juice, just 100% juice. And then I would have a real meal. I'd have a salad, a chicken breast, you know, uh, I'd have some chicken sausage or, you know, whatever. And then little by little, I, I didn't need the meat as much, even though once in a while I liked it. I made beef jerky yesterday only because, you know, it's like a quick power food and it's protein and I do want to start exercising again. I'm not exercising a lot because it makes me so hungry that I'd rather work on the weight and the health part of it first and then work out. So that's why I made some jerky and I was just trying to experiment anyways. Uh, and it's amazing. Uh, organic, I did organic uh, 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 beef and organic buffalo and mixed that together and uh, spiced it all up, you know, and it, and it was it, and it, the best jerky you've ever had, you know, so I will go through all these stuff and all the, all the tools and, and things that uh, will help you, um, you know, not, you know, so not everything's so boring. You know, juicing is great and it is the core to everything because I juice, you know, this many vegetables and, you know, I get all those nutrients and I'm feeding my body and my body's getting, health, you know, healthier. So many positive things have happened to me personally. Um, you know, I had high blood pressure, I, you know, cholesterol, you know, all this stuff is gone. My joints, I mean, my everything, I was ache, I could barely move. You know, so, you know, 34 and a half pounds, you know, carry, carry 34 and a half pounds around and you will feel, you know, how much weight that is. And that's what you're carrying. You know, I'm going to go, you know, another 15 pounds. That'll be, you know, I hope to. And that's going to be 50 pounds for me. And I think that's where I want to, that's, I think, where I can be and I can maintain it. You know, I'm going to have, you know, ups and downs, you know, but, you know, I, you know, I, you got to have goals. And... Um, I just, you know, I just want you to, you know, to, to think about your health and think about your life. What good is all the stuff you work for? You know, say you have a great job and you have a, a million dollars in your 401k and your house is paid for. You know, my brother's that way. He has all this stuff. And he doesn't have his health. You know, so he's going to come out and he's going to do a boot camp with me for 30 days. And I'm going to see if I can get him to lose 50 pounds in one month. He's 350 pounds. I'm, I'm hoping that... Um, I can get him, you know, we, I can get him to at least learn from this and he can incorporate and then lose, you know, weight little by little. So, uh, you know, we'll take some pictures and we'll do, we'll put some stuff up on, on YouTube after to see how that goes. But, you know, what good is anything that if you don't have your health and, you know, the only way to prevent cancer, 
is, I'm sorry, the only way to cure cancer is to prevent cancer. And by feeding your body with these wonderful, you know, dense organic uh, vegetables. Another thing that is so important is the water you drink. You have to drink, don't drink that fluorinated chlorine water. It's just poison in your body. That's, your body has to work to get that out. You know, so the more, the more toxins you put in your body, the less your body can work naturally to fight disease and to maintain healthy weight, you know, healthy weight. You know, you know I put a reverse osmosis system in. It is not that expensive, under $200, and you will have unlimited water for cooking, for washing, which is more important, washing your organic vegetables. Why would you wash them in poison? You know, because it, it, it is poison. So having that, I fill up big water jugs. We, you know, we have water, I have water all the time, and it's free, it's, it costs nothing. You know, I put a tester in it. I had 126 parts per million before the reverse osmosis. Now it's down to 002. Pretty darn good for $180. It pays for itself in, in literally a month and a half if you're bringing in bottled water. And guess what? You don't have to haul all those jugs. If you have a dispenser, just, just take those bottles, put a hose, fill the thing up. It takes maybe twice to fill it up because it only does about two and a half pounds, uh, two and a half gallons in the tank, and then put it in your machine. You know, make your own bottled water. Make sure you have enough of it and take it to work and always have your water with you. You know, don't, you know, some water out there is so bad. Some restaurants, and I test my water, you know, and it's, it's, it's pretty darn good, but it's not, you know, uh, it, it, you know it's just too big uh, to be able to, you know, we filter it, but a reverse osmosis wouldn't work because we wouldn't be able to, you know, I guess they, they do have very expensive commercial versions, and I might look at that too. You know, for for my restaurant, but right now we filter it. <coughs> excuse me, and we do the best we can. You know, but there's some there's some you know ice machines I've gone into restaurants where they have that pink slime. You know, it's just it's it's disgusting. So water is super important. Probably the most important thing that you you should focus on and start off with drinking a ton of water and drinking good water. Reverse osmosis. So. Once again, uh, this will be my new channel. It will be The Healthy Italian. And uh, I am, a, I am a, a pure Italian. I immigrated uh, to the United States in 1966 when I was three years old. You know, my parents uh, still live in Connecticut and they grow all their own uh, fruit, you know, vegetables and their garden is enormous. And my mother, they've made their own sauce and wine for, for my whole life. You know, so that's kind of how I grew up, and then I got Americanized, and I started eating shit and fast food, and you know, and then you know, became fat and out of shape, and and uh, and unhealthy. You know, I had you know liver issues, I all kinds of stuff, and you know what? Without a doctor, without prescriptions and drugs, I have fixed everything naturally. I've let my body heal itself from the inside out. You know, so. These are these you know these are choices you have to make, but you know you have to want it. You know you have to you know whatever motivation you need. You know if if it's your kids, you know that you wanted to say I want to be healthy so I can see my kids, or maybe you want to see your grand you know your grandkids. You know say I I want to be healthy for my grandkid. Have a picture in your pocket every day. You know so you can look at the person that you love that you're saying I'm doing this for you because I want to be able to be alive. I want to see you. I want to do things with you. All right, so you have to make that decision. Stop being lazy. Stop buying packaged and processed foods. You know, you, it, it, it's once you, once you see how how easy it is to make good food. You know, it's it doesn't go without work, but it's not hard to make the food. The work is going to the store and buying it every couple of days and making it fresh. You know, it's cleaning up the mess. It's you know to clean that loading the dishwasher, unloading the dishwasher. That, that to me is more work than actually preparing the food. I love preparing the food. It, is, it, it, it gives me, it, it, I, it, I just feel so happy when I'm cooking, and especially when I'm doing something good. You know, the spaghetti zucchini, that, you know, I'll show you the machine to get for that. It's amazing, and your kids will love it, and, and, and they'll be eating healthy food, not empty carbohydrates that just makes them fat, you know. So, you know, I understand that, you know, we can't eat this way all the time, you know, and I'm going to have cheat days, you know, when I get to the weight I want, you know, and I'll eat a 
bowl of pasta and I'll eat a pizza. You know, I can eat stuff that I that's good, like my pizza. I can pronounce all the ingredients. You know, four ingredients in my dough. I have tomato sauce, whole milk, mozzarella. I use real stuff in my food, so at least it's real. Maybe not the most nutritious, but at least for pleasure or comfort or junk food it's better than that crap you're gonna get chick-fil-a with msg and mcdonald's with pink slime and you know french fries you know french fries here's a funny story and everybody can relate to this you know you clean out your car you know and um this was i was cleaning out my car and i found a french fry probably from three years ago because i can't even remember the last time i had a french fry and that french fry was freaking perfect perfect three years later you know, just imagine what that does to your body, and we're feeding the shit to our kids. You know, so you know, you you know, you, the only way you can make your kids healthy is that you have to you have to feed them that way. You have to eat, and this is what you eat. But you got to make it fun for them and make it not suck. All right. So, um, I, you know, I, I again, I'm going to be putting up these videos and show you some of my really good recipes of fermented vegetables so important you know making you know cabbage and beets and cucumbers you know that lives and it's alive it's not hard to do you know it, it, it's so it, it just takes time it takes some prep some good jars you gotta get some tools here and there uh, crock pot if you can get one for your sauerkraut or you can make it in a bucket I mean there's you know there's there, you don't have to spend a lot of money um, to prepare some of this stuff you know the only thing is is that it is expensive to eat organic Costco, they have cost. You know, I get all my chicken at Costco. They have one steak there that's organic, grass-fed organic beef. You know, just remember, you are what you eat. You know, if you eat a cow that eats shit, then the meat's gonna be shit. You know, it's that simple. They're feeding some of these cows grain with ground-up cows. You know, that's where my mad cow came from. So, the, the, you know that. You know, you know, happy chickens. You know, make good meat. You know, if they're locked up in, a, in, 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 you know, in some cage for its whole life, you know, and, and smelling all that, you know, all that, uh, you know, the manure, you know, and, you know, and whatever and ammonia that comes from that, that gets into their system. It's in their blood, you know, and sometimes, I don't know if you've ever smelled like really cheap chicken, you know, you can smell it. You can smell the ammonia in the chicken sometimes. So, um, you know, if you want to go, if you want to go raw, you know, I encourage it. I, I can't go 100% raw. It's just too hard because raw is not only raw, it's uncooked. So you got to, you know, you got to make everything uncooked. I, I'm okay with going vegetarian with, you know, tomato sauce or sauteing some zucchini and olive oil and garlic. I mean, even though um, you lose so many nutrients, at least, it's, at least it's something, you know. So, but again, whatever works for you. You want to go raw, you want to go vegan, you want to just eat better. You know, I, I do a 75-25, 75% pretty much raw, you know, juicing and vegetables and my cultured vegetables and my yogurt. And then at dinner, a salad. And sometimes, you know, uh, I did a fantastic roasted cauliflower yesterday with some, with some, with a homemade curry sauce that we made with my yogurt. I use my yogurt to make avocado dressing and fresh lime dressing and basil dressings. You know, you just get a little, you know, a you know, magic bullet, throw that in, boom, you got a fresh dressing. So, um, so stay tuned. I, I hope that um, my, you know, my, 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 I don't know if this is a motivational speech or not. I want it to be. Um, but, um, you know, I'm new to this. Um, I, again, I, you know, there's no monetary thing. I, I wish you the best of luck, you know, and, you know, just, you know, just, it has to be up here. It has to be here. You have to want it. And then if you're hungry, you need to eat, but eat good food because the easiest way to, to, to you know, to, to die from this diet is to starve yourself and then see a, a and see a pizza and then you're then you're done you're like oh well i'm just gonna have a piece you know you just if you stay hungry then i mean you stay you stay satisfied then you know you you're you're, you're, you're not going to cheat as much so a hey, uh thanks for thanks for listening you know subscribe to this channel i'm going to be putting stuff up and uh share these videos with your friends and uh i hope I hope that, um, you know, you can have the success that I had, you know, please put comments in and, you know, if something works for you or if you think I should do something better uh, or even try something or suggestions, I'm, I'm open, you know, because I'm trying new things every day and I'm researching, trying to find how do I keep things fresh and fun and healthy. So um, good luck to you and uh, ciao.